Hello, Assalamu alaikum and very good morning from Lahore, Pakistan. I am Dr. Javed Iqbal Kokar, Professor of Forensic Medicine and Toxicology. As I am discussing the general toxicology, and this is the fourth lecture on this topic. And in this lecture, I will be discussing the roots of administration. And the learning objective of this lecture will be that we will learn what are various roots of administration and they are the enteral and the parenteral roots. So coming to the topic, the roots of administration of poisons. The roots of administration, what are various roots? What are different roots? And they are commonly enteral and parenteral roots. Inhalational roots, that is inhaled, poisons are inhaled. Then exterior application or external application on the skin and installation, installation into the uh, eyes or various other places. Then administration into directly various orifices. So talking about the enteral roots, the enteral roots includes the roots which involve the absorption from the mucous membrane of the gastrointestinal tract. And it is either from the oral or sublingual or through the rectum. Whereas the parenteral roots, they are the roots other than the mucous membrane of the gastrointestinal tract. It can be injection, it can be installation, or it, it can be through skin. So all other roots other than the elementary tract or gastrointestinal tract, they are the parenteral. And they can be subcutaneous installation, uh, injection, intramuscular, intravenous, intra-arterial, intrathecal, intraperitoneal, intra-amniotic, and amongst parenteral root, the intravenous root is the fastest root. And then the inhalational root, when there are certain poisons, which are inhaled and get absorbed. The lungs, the pulmonary toxicity is because the lungs have a rich blood supply and there is very thin partition between the air and the blood in the alveoli. That is 10 micron, 10 micrometer. And the alveoli, they have the large surface area. For, for example, it can be 50 to 100 meters square, and that makes it a favorable route of absorption. Inhalation is also considered another fastest route as the alveolar membrane offers much broader surface for the absorption. Then the external application on the skin. This is application or rubbing of some material on the skin. Percutaneous absorption occurs through the skin to the systemic circulation. And this is done by the sebaceous, the sweat glands and the hair follicle. Then installation, the installation into the ears, installation into the eyes. Installation into the eyes and ears, for example, in the conjunctival sac, the thin mucous membrane allows the direct absorption into the blood. Besides, the drug can also enter into the pharynx through the nasolacrimal duct, and then it gets absorbed through the enteral root. Then the administration into the orifices. For example, in the rectum, vagina, nose, etc., the mucous membrane of these organs is also very thin. And it allows rapid transfer of chemicals from the mucous membrane to the blood. 
for example, the rectal suppositories or vaginal pessaries, they are the examples of introduction into the canals. Similarly, the nasal mucous membrane allows rapid absorption of drugs and chemicals. So summary of this lecture is that we have learned that what are various routes of administration regarding the poisons. They are the enteral and the parenteral routes and the parenteral routes are the subcutaneous, intramuscular, intravenous, intraarterial, intrathecal, intraperitoneal, intraamniotic, Inhalation route, they are the other routes. Inhalational route, external application through the skin, installation, and administration directly into the orifice. These are various routes of administration regarding the poisons. So, thank you very much. Take care. Allah Hafiz.